In earlier modules, you learned how to measure and set auger height correctly. In this module, you'll learn exactly why that step is so important. When placing the mat, you have to accommodate the amount of mix to be compacted during rolling. Think about it. The mat you place will be more compact after you roll it. That's the point. To achieve the correct mat thickness after compaction, you'll need to place the lift a bit taller than the final spec requires. In other words, if the mat is supposed to be one inch thick, you'll place a lift of one and a quarter inches. That extra quarter of an inch is known as the fluff factor. The foreman is typically the member of the crew who calculates the fluff factor, which is the mat thickness that the screed will place by adding one quarter of an inch to each inch of final thickness the project calls for. The exact fluff factor might change depending on your mix design. You'll use the automation on the screed to dial in the height of the mat you place, but it's vital to double check your work. Take your level to the back of the screed and lay it transversely across the joint, like you see here. Use a wooden folding ruler to measure the distance between the base of the level and the existing mat, which is the one you're matching. That measurement is your fluff factor. That measurement has to reflect the exact amount you've built in for compaction. Now let's talk about calculating yield. Determining how far a load of asphalt mix will go takes a quick bit of math, but it's vital to making sure you don't run over on a job. The yield is the amount of material being used in a set area. It's important to know so you can keep track of where you are during paving, how much material you'll have at any point in time, and how much material you might be wasting or running low on. There are online calculators to help you, or you can use the equation provided at the end of this lesson to figure out your yield. To calculate your yield, there are three constants to know. Paving width, paving depth, and tons of material. When you know the value for these three constants, you plug those values into the...